Well, how you doing, everybody? Hope you're having a nice, happy, and safe Halloween. Today, we're going to take a look at Jigsaw, the latest movie in the seemingly never-ending Saw franchise, directed by Michael and Peter Spearig. Apparently, when they said the last movie was the final chapter, they were just kidding. Ten years after the death of John Kramer, someone out there is killing people in a similar fashion to Jigsaw, putting people in these elaborate traps as a way to get them to confront their various misdeeds. So who is the copycat now? Or... Is Jigsaw back from the dead? Ooh. Scary. I'm not going to take too much time talking about the previous Saw movies in depth. I am simply going to say I like the first three, the second one is the best, and the rest... Meh. And sadly, but not surprisingly, this one is also pretty meh. There's nothing especially bad about it, but there's really nothing particularly noteworthy either. Of course, a big part of the Saw franchise is the games, and the games are relatively well done here. Some are fairly complex, some are pretty simple, and I found myself liking the simple ones a lot more. And even Jigsaw himself says in this movie, the best games always are the simple ones. And speaking of Jigsaw, Tobin Bell is back once again, despite John Kramer having died 10 years ago. But being dead didn't stop him from being in the last few movies, so why would it stop him now? And I had an idea how they might bring him back, and... It was more or less what I expected. In fact, it ended up being somewhat similar to what they did in the previous movie. And Bell is the main reason I keep seeing these movies, because he is awesome. One of the few parts of this movie where I was truly, fully engaged was his big scene towards the end. I honestly cannot imagine anyone else in this role. He just plays it so well, and he's always such an engaging presence. But even Tobin Bell could not save this film from mediocrity, and there are two big things that really dragged it down for me. For one thing, the movie tries to keep you guessing who the new Jigsaw killer is. Is it the medical examiner? Is it his assistant? Is it the good cop? Is it the bad cop? Is Jigsaw somehow back from the dead? Who knows? But they don't do a very good job of keeping you guessing. In fact, my first guess turned out to be correct. And in some cases, it just felt like they were trying way too hard. One character in particular is a Jigsaw fangirl who actually, and I'm not making this up, has her own warehouse filled with various recreations of Jigsaw's traps. Yeah, not the killer. There's no fucking way because that is way too obvious. Also, she has red hair. Red hair, red herring, come on. And the other big problem, and this is not specific to the Saw franchise, this happens in a lot of horror movies, I just had no sympathy for any of these victims. I really didn't. And granted, they are bad people, because Jigsaw doesn't target people who haven't done anything wrong. That's not his thing. But that in and of itself is not a problem. There's nothing wrong with seeing someone bad attempt to redeem themselves. That's fine. Hell, I saw this recently with Happy Death Day, and I liked Happy Death Day. My main problem with the victims in Jigsaw is they're just so fucking stupid. Criminally so. In some ways, it kind of reminds me of Unfriended. All these characters had to do was tell the truth, and follow the rules. And had they done that, they probably would have all survived at least up to the final game but apparently that was too much to ask. With the exception of the people who do make it to the final game, because the final game was actually a little bit tricky, they're all killed by their own stupidity. That's it. One trap in particular really pissed me off, because without giving too much away, basically one of the victims has to solve some sort of puzzle. And here is the damnedest thing. She solves it. She actually figures it out but she dies anyway because she can't stop panicking for five fucking seconds and do what she has to do to survive. It's so stupid. These people, death is too good for them. So my final verdict on this one, I would say this is for fans of the franchise only, and even if you are a fan, I would not pay full price. It's really not worth it. It was nice to see Tobin Bell again, and some of the traps are kind of fun, but overall, it's just another pointless sequel. And that's all I got to say about Jigsaw. Till next time, take care.